the rapid economic development in Malaysia and the increase in cross-border dealings around the world have resulted in more agreements and contracts being entered into by Malaysian companies and organizations. Like many business arrangements, there will inevitably be disputes or conflicts and increasingly, arbitration is used as an effective way to resolve those disputes. The Kuala Lumpur Regional Centre for Arbitration, KLRCA, is the only international arbitral institution in Malaysia that facilitates and administers arbitration and provides a forum to settle commercial and contractual disputes. Founded in 1978 under the auspices of the Asian African Legal Consultative Organisation through a host agreement with the Malaysian government, KLRCA is helmed by a director and has a panel of over 700 local and foreign arbitrators who are specialists in their respective fields. Disputing parties can choose to appoint an arbitrator from KLRCA's panel or any other arbitrator of their choice. KLRCA also has an advisory board chaired by the Attorney General of Malaysia, Tan Sri Abdul Ghani Patail, and consisted of renowned international arbitrators. Arbitration is a less formal way for parties to resolve legal disputes outside of the court system. It aims to provide fair and unbiased resolution to disputes without causing needless delay or expenses. Nowadays, arbitration clauses are found in many different agreements or contracts where parties are required to use arbitration to resolve any disputes. Arbitrators are deemed as judges and their rulings or awards are equivalent to any judicial decision or judgment. Parties should arbitrate and not litigate simply because of the enforceability issue. Arbitration awards are recognized by 146 countries around the world under the New York Convention, whereas court judgments are not as widely recognized. Arbitration gives the option to the parties to select a tribunal of, of an expert of their choice to adjudicate on their dispute so that they can get a just result. And arbitration, unlike litigation, is kept away from the glare of publicity as it is private and confidential. Business people will find it extremely useful to keep their dealings and also protect sensitive information from the glare of publicity. And lastly, arbitration awards are final and binding. What it means to parties is that they will not be involved in expensive litigation through appeals to tiers of the court procedure to enforce their awards. In Malaysia, Arbitration is governed by the Arbitration Act 2005 and the Arbitration Amendment Act 2011, both based substantially on the United Nations Commission on International Trade Law and Citral Model Law. I prefer to use the phrase alternative dispute resolution. Mediation is becoming popular in view of court annexed mediation. With the implementation of the SEPA Act, I foresee a growth in adjudication. Construction disputes have been the genesis of arbitration in this country. In the future, I anticipate that there will be an increase in both domestic commercial arbitration and hopefully international commercial arbitration. Two disputing parties can arbitrate under the KLRCA arbitration rules. The rules cover all aspects of the arbitral process and parties may agree to use them in part or as a whole to help resolve their domestic or international disputes. Aside from the KLRCA arbitration rules, there is also the KLRCA fast track arbitration rules for smaller quantum disputes, less than 1 million ringgit that are to be settled within a maximum of 160 days. Adjudication 
is a form of interim dispute resolution on payment issues between contracting parties in the construction industry, aimed at easing the cash flow for the chain of contractors until the construction project is completed. Under the Construction Industry and Payment Adjudication Act 2012, KLRCA is the default appointing and administrative authority. In addition, KLRCA conducts training and certification courses for interested parties to become adjudicators. Meanwhile, KLRCA's I-Arbitration rules apply when arbitrating any commercial contracts, business agreements or transactions that are based on Sharia principles. Under the KLRCA Mediation Conciliation Rules, the Centre also provides administrative and support services and complete facilities for mediation. KLRCA also deals with internet domain name disputes. It is appointed by the Malaysian Network Information Centre and the Asian Domain Name Dispute Resolution Centre to administer and facilitate disputes for the registration and or use of a domain name. The Centre is very well equipped with excellent facilities for use during any arbitral proceedings. KLRCA is one of the oldest arbitral institutions in Asia and aspires to promote arbitration and alternative dispute resolution in the region through collaborations and joint ventures. The director of KLRCA is the current president of the Asia-Pacific Regional Arbitration Group, a group of nearly 40 arbitral institutions in the region, with the center serving as its secretariat. KLRCA is also the official alternative hearing center for the Court of Arbitration for Sport, Switzerland, for sport dispute resolution in the region. In addition, the Malaysian government is currently in negotiation with the Permanent Court of Arbitration in The Hague for KLRCA to be appointed as an alternative venue in the region for arbitration, mediation and conciliation matters administered by the Permanent Court of Arbitration. I've been involved with the centre since it began in the, in the late 70s. But until the last two years, the centre has expanded its activities and has become better known. Since the enactment of the Arbitration Act 2005, Malaysia is as good a venue as any in the region. The Act, which is based on the model law, restricts curial interference into arbitration. Malaysian judges are now familiar with the Act and understand that the philosophy of the Act requires them to be arbitration friendly. The director of the KLRCA has his ear plugged close to the ground to seek, receive and respond fast to feedback from the industry and the stakeholders. And this has resulted in the KLRCA constantly striving to upgrade its systems and procedures so that it's abreast with international developments and the demands and needs of all stakeholders. KLRCA is efficient and innovative. It has the full support of the Malaysian Bar, while users of the system, and also the support of the judiciary, which is arbitration friendly. In its efforts to make Malaysia the preferred alternative dispute resolution hub in the region, KLRCA is continuously building on its portfolio of rules as well as improving its services. The facilities of the regional centre speak for themselves, but these are going to get even better. And when the new regional centre for arbitration is ready at the Sulaiman building in Kuala Lumpur, its facilities will be unsurpassed in the region and there is every reason for people, both domestic and international, wherever their contracts are, to have their seat of arbitration in Malaysia or if they don't, to at least have Malaysia or Kuala Lumpur as the venue for the arbitration. Arbitration is the preferred mode of dispute resolution, not only in Malaysia, but also around the world. KLRCA is well equipped and is able to facilitate and administer arbitration proceedings in Malaysia.